What is up, guys? Little Punisher Gamer here. Today, we are back with some more of the Crown Tundra. And last time, we left off in Freezington, the town of Freezington, or village, either way. And um, last time, we also did some of the Dynamax adventure things. And we also got the Suicune here, which was one of the Legend of Pokemon that we were able to get in the Dynamax adventure. Which, um,. I haven't decided if I want to keep it on my team, but for now, we're keeping Sweet on my team. I love him. I love him a lot. And last time, we saw Peony here uh, at this inn. He went inside this inn, and we gotta go follow him, I guess. So, um, yeah, we're gonna get some more of the story, finally. I really am excited to see what the story is all about. Because, as, as I said before, I haven't been spoiled the story yet. I haven't watched anyone else play the game yet, unless it's at a part where I've beaten and um, then I watch people play. But if it's not a part I haven't beaten yet, I have not watched people play the game yet, or any other parts. So yeah, this is totally new. I don't know anything about the story, so I'm really excited to, hear, to see what's going on with the story, you know, because I'm pretty sure this has a story to it way more than the Owl Armor. So yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into this. So this is our, this is the inn. This is his house. I have no idea. Aha, uh -huh, here you are. This pokey little place will be our lodg lodgings. <laughs> okay, that's a fossil? Is that a fossil? But at this moment, it's also something far more important. Our base camp. I know, I know, not much of a base camp isn't. Still, we've got to give it a proper air of importance, haven't we? No, enough faffing about a little exposure. Let me tell you about what the Peony Exploration Team is after. Around here, they've got a few, few, fair few strange and mysterious legends. For example, we got a, a Pokemon tip going on. Uh, I mean, I guess he was giving me a tip. <laughs> he was gonna give me a tip or something. A huge headed Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Hun harvests, not to mention, a massive red tree where legendary flying Pokemon gather, ooh, and furthermore, three great Hulk and Daunt faced giants that sleep in some ruins or something, etc. See what I mean? This place is just bursting with juicy legends. And we're not stopping until we find just how, about how much truth they got to them. And, they, we, and there you have it. We, ha we got the Peony. Exploration team. We are the PA Exploration team. Sorry. I'm sorry. And that is our grand, no more magnificent goal. Of course, if I had, if I had it my way, I'd be doing this with my darling Nia. But who knows? They say enchanting meetings can lead to blissy, full friendships. So here's the uh, Grand Adventure Expedition Chief, Little Punisher. And my controller is dying. How wonderful. Uh, Chief? Obviously. Ooh, an Orphanity Chief. And cool, do you think would happen if the uh, two of us... What do you think would happen if the two of us went, uh... Gallivanting galliv galliv <laughs> off together? My dear Nia could come along with her a grand emotional reunion and find this place empty. Just the thought of it, my own darling daughter sitting alone in this room, pinning for her papa. God, nope, not on my watch. I never let that happen. This guy's crazy. <laughs> so I'll be the hold down of the fort chief, which means you get to the pleasure of being expedition chief. Gahaha. Ha. Which brings me to this. Go on, have it. Expedition. Okay, we get this uniform. Putting it on. You get the uniform. Oh, but I don't want the one uniform now, actually, because I wanted to see. Um. Um. Because I, I remember the. If you guys don't remember the uh, when we first arrived at the village, we met the mayor, and then he gave me an outfit, and I haven't seen it yet, and I want to see what the outfit looks like. Um. Gaha! Look at that. Let's see, like a glove. I brought some spare uniforms, so my dear Nia would have a few to change into. So there's enough to give you one. If you ever need a change or have a kit, by all means, head to the bedroom back here. I got some different colored scarves in there, so switch it up if you fancy a style. Yes, I want to switch my scarves and everything. Here you have these two. 
Legendary clue one. What is this? A clue about the king of bountiful hunts. Harvest. I don't know why I keep saying hunts. It's written by Peony and an old photo is attached to it. The king of bountiful harvests. There's a fairy tale in Freezing Home, but the legendary Pokemon known as the king of bountiful harvests. In the legends, the king is said to wear a massive crown on his head, but the wooden statue he has appealed in the middle of this village shows no sign of a crown. Clue number two. A uh, clue about the legends of giants. It's written about Peony. Far, far into the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of stone sleeps. On the temple's door are strange words. Let the mana change one. The door remains firmly shut. Sunken in the side of snow slide slope lies a temple where the giant of ice sleeps on the temple's door are strange words. Wa to gev every <laughs> stall of snow. The door remains firmly shut. Okay. Let out no walk. Eant eel. On uh, and we got wa re door all the end. <laughs> I can't say this crap. <laughs> okay, what did he? What is he giving me all this crap for? Hang on, let me let me let, sorry, bro. let me get my. Give me a second, man. <laughs> Uh, when the second, when the sun reaches its zenith, uh, it shines directly down upon a great tree with well, leaves that seem to burn. It is there that the legendary ways come to roost. The legendary clues I have meant to meet you, I can't say that word, complied for hours or of dedication, dedicated telewatching. watching. I'm sorry if I can't really say words today, like, it's pretty late, I'm a little tired. Not too tired to not be making this video, but you know, I am a little, you know, drowsy because I did take a nap earlier. First off, why not have a look at the clue about the king of bountiful harvests? It's the biggest king's bound it's with its loyal steed, or whatever you call it, Run Popper Deep. So if I had to name this expedition, I'd call it The Sacred Bonds of What and Steed. What was that? <laughs> There's a great big statue of it banging in the middle of the village. Though its head isn't as massive as in my notes. Okay. I do like the boots for this kid. Uh... Okay, no. Wait, 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 can I at least go? Ah, yeah, I just had an idea. Here's a little something to help you out. Okay, free Master Ball. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's supposed to be one of the ultra mega cork of a ball. Use it whenever you thought you ought to. I got it. I got it ages ago from somebody I used to know. I never could bring myself to use it though. If you ever get a bit turned around, come on back into this camp anytime. You can't miss it. Just look for the adventure arena crew flag. I stuck. I stuck out of front. Handmade by yours truly. Anyway, I suppose that's the. That's it. At Lucky Game Adventure, we're gonna have a fashion time out there. Can I please like? Okay, thank you. Don't force me to go out there. I'm not restore my Pokemon. Do they have a Pokemon Center here, or do we are we forced to use the thingy? Okay, so I like the. And I want to see what I like, what we got. So I know the guy gave me a, a thingy last time. Yeah, freezing him. Oh. Yeah. What is it? I can't really see it. Oh, it's cute. Well, I mean, I'm listening. Nah, I don't really like this. I don't really like it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I love that. Um, he there's some scarves too. Actually, no, 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 no. Yeah, was I always wearing that? I don't remember. Uh, outfit, armband. What armband? Yeah, let's see what this is all about. I would like. Color, the ice type color. You know, let's go for a wintery theme. I don't want my big card with that though. What's the arm? Oh, arm. Okay, there's like a little thing on our. Wait, why is my league? My league card gonna look like this? 
No, I don't want my lead card looking like that. No, I don't like it. I don't like that outfit like that. No, okay, I shouldn't have done that. Stupid. Alright, well, I'm gonna change that leader. I don't really need to care about that right now. First off, why not have a look at the clues about the King of Bountiful Harvest? There's a great big statue of it bang in the middle of this village. Though its head isn't as massive as in my notes. Okay, he just said that. Alright, well, let's get starting into this. We're 10 minutes in and I really haven't done anything, so we need to start getting into this. Come on, man. So, we, last time I remember, we saw some footprints in, uh, last time before we ended the video on the last episode. There's the big tree, which I, I remember where's where the birds are. That's the Reggie, one of the Reggies. And there's like a big tree with nothing on it. <laughs> it's a big tree. And there's the, well, wait, that, that was a weird head turn, not gonna lie. So we gotta look at the, what you got us out? It's such a Pokemon, but somehow it feels as if it was missing something. Okay, weird. I want to explore more in this town, though. Hey, let's explore more. I don't think I really explored a lot. We got a Beldum here. Beldum returned. I didn't really know Beldum returned in this game. There's no one here but a Beldum. Does Beldum own the house? Does Beldum pay the bills? <laughs> what is wrong with the people just giving a free home to a Beldum? Okay, I haven't explored this area, too. Or this house. We got an Eevee trainer here. Do you like walking around together with your, po with your Pokemon? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to. I want to always walk with them. Eevee, yeah, that was a really low cry. What the heck? Is that a Cosmog? Obviously, it's a Cosmog, but what is it doing in here? It's quite outside, dearie. Why not stay a while and get warmed up? Kazo. Oh, that's Woofy. I found it shivering outside the village and just had to bring it home. You know, I think it's just, it was just about when, uh... You know, I think it was just about when I found that Woofy, the, the other strange Pokemon, began appearing in the tundra. I've never seen a Pokemon like Woofy before. Maybe it'd be best to have a proper trainer and take care of it. If only I could find a d dependable one. I can't even click it. What's wrong with it? Will she give us Cosmog if we like, like maybe af after you beat the whole Tundra or the storyline, will she give you Cosmog? Why does she have a Cosmog? I'm so confused. I love him. I know he's useless, but oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> I feel like she's gonna give me it, maybe after I beat the story. Okay, I was not expecting to run into that. Well, you, know, you, learn, you, you see something new every day. Oh, that's like the mayor. Um, that, oh, okay, the statue of the King of Barfa Hans. No, I haven't, so I'm just worried worry about that right now. I'm pretty sure I have to these people. I just haven't looked in the houses yet. I also did that. All right, so we're gonna go, I guess this way. I actually kind of like this outfit, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it looks kind of cool. So, yeah, well, this is where we last left off. We found these footprints, which I have no idea. <gasps> she's here! Oh my god, she's here! Oh my god, I haven't seen her in months! Oh my god, and if you guys don't know, after the Isle of Armor, she's just, like never in her lab. So if we finally get to see her, yes, there they are. Oh, her theme is back. We got Sonya. Yes. I miss her theme and everything. These are exactly what I was looking for. I knew my hypothesis was spot on. Mm, wait, little Punisher? What are you doing in a place like this? What are you doing here? I keep asking myself that exact same question. If I know it was going to be this cold here, I would have been thought things through a bit more. I honestly was thinking, is she going to be back in the Crown Tundra? Because if you didn't know, I, uh, I just said it before, but you know, she's never in her lab, so I, she had to be here, and I'm really glad she's back. But here I am, stuck in the Crown Tundra, trying to learn more about a group of Pokemon. There are some Pokemon that prefer places where there are no people. You see Pokemon that choose to live in isolation. The Crown Tundra here is just a place for that sort of Pokemon. If my theory is correct, 
I think a certain trio of legend Pokemon could be lurking somewhere in these lands. I'm sure my theory is not wrong. If you want some proof that, look, then look there. See those footprints? What about these footprints? Yes, you found evidence of the Iron Will Pokemon. That's 2% of the data are needed to track it. My theory is that the legendary Iron Will Pokemon Cavern Pokemon the, and Grassland Pokemon are all somewhere around here in the Contundra. What? And there's evidence like this scattered all over the place and it'll lead us to them. If we could find more evidence to collect 100% of the data we needed to track these legendary Pokemon, then I bet we can use my Pokemon Finder to figure out what the habitats they're living in. But this place is making cold, it's putting me in hibernation mode. Are you planning to stick around here for a while, little Punisher? Think you can try that spot more evidence like this and report it to me when you find it? I'll reward you for your hard work, of course. I'll be waiting in that house uh, there so I can stay warm and cozy and maybe feel my fingers. Is that ear beldum by living by itself? Or is I can grip of him and write, of course, since I'll be working so hard on my research. I'm so happy we see her again. She's like one of my favorite professors. I'm so happy she's back. She's really, literally one of my favorite professors. So, I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> we're gonna explore around. I guess. And we're gonna look for clues or something. Oh, got some above us now chasing us. So, I will be looking at more Audino. Quiagano. I don't think there's anything new. Um, the grass got everything new. More Audino over there. Jinx. Got a Pokeball over here. The sash. Please leave me alone. I don't want to fight you. I'm not a legendary here. I'm not afraid to use it. Another berry tree. I really hope that I find a patchery suit in this berry tree, please. I've taken only two berry trees in this crown tundra. But no patchery suit has fallen out of those trees. And that's the Pokemon I wanted to return in this game. It hasn't been in the game since Gen 6, which has been like years. So please. My god, I hate this Pokemon so much. He's so ugly, I hate him. I stuck that very tree, that was a good sound. Beep, beep, beep. What's going on? Whoa, it's me, Peony. How are things going, Chief? What's that? You found some place look ruiny looking? That's gonna be one of those places, you know, where the Legend of Giants are supposed to be. You see a door with mysterious writing on it. I hear no one's ever been able to get it open. If all that's true, I think I call this particular adventure. The terrible titans lurking locked away. What is this? Why did that keep happening? Ha, <laughs> ah, well, how's that grab you? Marty then, Chief. I eagerly leave the rest of this research in your hands. Talk to you later. Can I go in there? Right now? Okay, so we can... What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> just, just disappearing in places. Alright, let's stop walking really so slow. I don't know why I'm walking so slow for. It's like, like the horror game right now. I'm walking super slow. You got the flash cannon, it's like the best TM I finally found in the game so far. Am I able to go in here? Let ring the piercing note that will make the giant of steel. Okay, I guess I can't go in there yet. Or else he, just, or else he said something I didn't say and pay attention because I'm a terrible listener. And I forget things really fast. Okay. <laughs> um, Morning Arena. Is this a new area? I got stuck in something. A vanilla. Oh. I love vanilla. Like, I will be catching them. Pretty sure I found a Needle Queen around here before. Um. Honestly, while exploring the, the same area, I actually haven't. Oh, that's all I saw though. No, oh, we're a Needle King. Look at him. Tweak him. Go fight him. See his chasing animation. What is it? Oh, he's gonna. Oh, he snapped me right in the heart. <laughs> oh my god. That was real. Um, I want to die by poison. I'm pretty sure this thing is poisonous. Grass, please. Plus, you're new. Whoa, it's like 
Where is this one? Down here. <gasps> what is that on the floor? Oh, I found evidence! We found evidence on the, of the grass sign Pokemon. After 2% was dead, I needed to track it. Okay. Oh, I found more! More on here? Oh, can, did I miss some? Oh my god, there's a Dragapult here. Oh my god. That's terrifying. Is this a graveyard? This is a graveyard. I was literally thinking this was like a graveyard. I actually thought it wasn't, but honestly, <laughs> it is now. I didn't actually think it was a graveyard. Oh my god. It's creepy. Wait, hey, it's October. This got released in October or something. Pokemon needs to up their, the, the creepiness. So, you know, I'm glad they're doing this. <laughs> I mean, Pokemon has always been a creepy game, so honestly, I don't know why I, I didn't I expect something like this. A Poke doll. We have some ghosts. Alright, guys, so I am back. It's been a few days since I last recorded the last clip, so my apologies for that. Of course, you guys aren't going to see that because I literally edited up the. Of course, this editing is out. But, um, yeah, it's been a few days since I last probably did any of uh, the stuff we did last time. And I think last time what I did, we did we looked for the footprints and stuff, and we saw Sonia there, and I did all that, I did the footprints thing off screen, because I mean, that was on a, honestly kind of a waste of time to be on screen, because basically, really, um, you just had to search around the whole, um, the whole areas and stuff. And I haven't found all of them yet, but I did find one of the Reggies, and then some blue foot, foot, footprints somewhere. So I did look for those off screen because honestly that, that that was gonna be kind of time consuming to do on screen and I'm pretty sure you guys won't wanna see that. <laughs> and I did I did catch some Pokemon off screen a lot. I did catch a lot of off screen. Like I said before, I would do that. And story related things will be doing I'll be doing on screen. So yeah, I really do wanna continue on story. I also did kinda get a little spoiled with this. I didn't know this would trigger or anything. Uh, I had, there was a hat or something on inside there, and I, I took it from Peony. He said to um, put it on the statue, which I did not expect it to actually do something, but apparently Calyrex, oh my god, it's right there. You can see it really close over there, well, kind of far. That's what happened, I, that, that thing came out of the trees, and I was like, oh no, I, 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 just, I didn't do it on camera, and I was kind of annoyed by that but you know oh well I didn't I didn't go to it yet because I wanted to do it on the camera so I did find the footprints and Sonia said to meet us in here so let's see if she's here she is here and look this is the house where the building was I actually am trying to catch one of these in the in the game and they're really annoying to catch I'm like 10 minutes trying to catch that thing how's it going up gathering evidence on the evidence I'll check your progress Data for the Iron Pokemon is at 100%. Data for the Cabin Pokemon is at 14%. Data for the Grass Pokemon is at 100%. So I got two um, Pokemon down. Yeah, the other 100% of the data we needed to track the Iron Pokemon. The other 100% of the data I needed to track the Grassland Pokemon. So it's gonna happen. This should be enough data for us to pin down where these legendary Pokemon live. So if I feed all this data into my trusty Pokemon Finder, it's searching for energy signatures. What is she doing? She, is it shaking? <laughs> Going crazy. And it's found matching Pokemon. The animal Pokemon can be found at the Fragid Sea. I don't think I said that right. The Grassland Pokemon can be found in the Giant's Bed. We just went there. We finally get to come face to face with the legendary Pokemon we've been searching for. Best of luck, Lepuncher. So I'm not gonna obviously get all of them but before we did i ended the video i did want to at least get one legendary pokemon because i was probably part of the story should we go to calyrex i don't know should i save it for another video i think i'm gonna save it for another video i really came back to finish the video just to find legendary pokemon one of them and then this came, i didn't expect to see that there so we're not gonna we'll, we're gonna we're gonna see what calyrex wants in the next video i do so yeah, we're not gonna we're gonna avoid that for now. I'm sorry, but you know, this is this is still the same video that I other dudes doing, but I didn't record it. Please. I, uh. Let's see. Alright, guys. So here we are at 
the giant's bed. Uh, this is one of the Reggie's. I have no idea if this is a new one or an old one. We're gonna open it. Let's ring the piercing note that will wake the giant of steel. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to do anything? Am I supposed to go to Calyrex? I'm so confused what I'm supposed to do, man. What? Wait, am I in- Oh wait, am I in the right one? Am I? Where the heck am I supposed to go? Oh wait, maybe that's the wrong one. Did you say giant's bed? I'm so confused on where I was Check again. <laughs> Alright guys, so I did find I think the iron Pokemon that we were supposed to look for um the first time, but I accidentally killed it. So I'm looking for it again. Um it's somewhere in the snow area, so I gotta go down here. And it's on top of that mountain. You see the mountain over there? That's where it's supposed to, the iron Pokemon is supposed to be, I'm pretty sure. I thought it was supposed to be more related to the Reggies, but I don't think it is because I don't, I can't really get inside or anything. And it says somewhere over here, and I don't see like any of those doors being in this area. I hope it's still here though. It's still here. Okay. I think that's what we're supposed to be looking for. And this is uh, Cobalion, I'm pretty sure. This is one of the little the sword legendaries. So I'm pretty sure this is what we're supposed to be looking for. He's really cool. I killed him the first time in an accident. Um, we're going to try to get him again. Let's see if we can get Cobalion this time. That's super dark, I'm sorry. Why is it going to dark? That's fine. Up the right, there we go. Alright, we're gonna try to go the cool ball at I feel like the football will be fine. I was like concerned before. So now you said the first the, the first time. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Never worked like that. <laughs> uh oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh no, we're fine, we're fine. So I have my right to here just to paralyze things. Just to paralyze things. I don't wanna kill it. Uh, the reason it died last time because of the hail. So I gotta be really careful what I, what I use. I really don't know the weaknesses of the thing. I get like steel fighting, but I really don't know what I'm gonna do against it. That's so much damage. I don't know what to do. Hail does pretty good damage on this thing, so I, mean, I might just chuck Mr. Balls at it, hoping it stays in. That's all I can really do. I don't want to kill it. Okay, I should have something else. This is like a bad put one at the end. Why should just have to do defense? The only reason it's here in my party right now is to paralyze things. Okay, let's go to. Uh, I use Iron Head, Secret Swords Fighting. Can't use that. Let's go to this thing because it can heal itself. Okay. And I went to Slowbro last time and I was psychic me. Um, didn't kill it, but the hail killed it. So, yeah. I'm making a slack off if I need to. We're gonna keep the Storm Ultra Balls on it, hoping it actually catches. Except for that awkward silence there. <laughs> okay, yeah, that doesn't do nothing. So I might just, uh, we'll take one more Pokeball, it gets out, I'm just gonna get back to you guys when I actually catch this thing, so it might take a while. I don't want to kill it on accident, so I'm pretty sure I might need this or something. So, um, I want it, but also I'm pretty sure I'm going to need it for story, so, you know. And I didn't think this was going to be, was this what we were looking for, honestly, but I mean, now it kind of makes sense for the footprints, though. Because this thing looks kind of like a, a dog-like thing. I mean, it's not really a dog. I don't even know what this thing is. Animal-like. But it's something. Oop. Ooh. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. Yeah, I'm gonna come back to you guys when I do catch this thing. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I catch it.
Alright guys, so we finally conquered Valiant. Actually, I actually didn't think it was that long. Maybe like, it looks like maybe 10 Pokeballs. Or Ultra Balls, I mean. And we kind of got it. It's actually a Pokedex thing, too. So I actually didn't think these Legendaries would have Pokedex entries. So when I caught the other thing, they didn't have the X entry. So, okay. So yeah, this is the Iron Pokemon. I was right, so we do need this for something. We probably need it for that Reggie door that I was, that I was saying Iron Blue Pokemon. So we do need these for the Reggies. Okay, I gotta understand it now. So this Pokemon appears in a legend alongside Terrakian and Veri Verizon. <laughs> no, not Verizon. Verizion. <laughs> Fighting against humans in defense of the universe region's Pokemon. Awesome. I really do it because this is probably my favorite one of the Sword Legends. He's really cool. I'm happy to find this one first. But now I know who we're gonna fight. So we need to find now the, the grass one, which I guess we could look for really quick. I have no idea where that will be. So it's not, this, I guess this, this part isn't, you know, we're not looking for Reggie's. I guess we're looking for these, the Sword Legends. So I, I am. I'm kind of feeling like an idiot. Not think, thinking that the Mordell footprints are actually Reggie's. Because they're not. I mean, they're not really idiots. I mean, I, cause I, didn't, I didn't look at spoilers. Like, that tells. That shows that I didn't really, you know, look up spoilers or anything. I did look up if how to get the Reggie's and they were saying whistling, and I was like whistling in front of the thing, and I was like, nothing is happening. But then I went back to that area, and then I saw that thing, and I was like, okay, that's part of the story. It's gotta be. It's no one's just randomly sponsored. So I guess we'll look around the grass area. That's our next goal. It does want us to follow the Calyrex, which I'm not gonna do yet until next episode. So this is this has nothing to do with this area. That that does have nothing to do with it. We're just gonna look for the for Rizion, whatever it's called, somewhere, because it's around here. We gotta look for it. I have no idea. It's probably gonna be it's gonna, this is probably the area it's gonna be. Bunch of grass. Maybe in the tomb? Tomb area? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep a close eye. I might just come back when I do find it. So it might take some time. I have no idea where it's gonna be. So I'm gonna look around, making sure I don't miss it. I'm pretty sure it won't spawn the grass. It's gonna be rare, so I'm just gonna find the grass. So I'll come back when I do find this thing. So I'll be right back. Guys, I found Verizion. This is where it is. I've been looking for it for like at least like 10 minutes now. Probably not, maybe 5 minutes. It didn't take that long. But it felt like a while. I looked, I looked for quite a while. Okay. This was probably my second favorite. She's pretty cool. I do like the, the first one we found better though. Okay, so we still have to look for the other footprints though. So we'll probably look for the second, the third one next episode because I mean so far I've really found the, the, this, those two footprints so yeah let's go ahead and start catching this one it's awesome from Verizon I keep calling it Verizon <laughs> I might just start calling it that though because honestly it, it sounds more like Verizon than anything else all right let's turn away if, if, it, if we can live in it okay you got it it's paralyzed. I probably should have clicked all of this in case, but whatever. Whatevs. We died. Alright, so I'm gonna try to weaken it a little bit. We don't we can actually start weakening it better now because we don't have hail. That was really annoying. Trying to not try to kill that other thing. I'm gonna slack off. Hopefully it's we're faster. Oh, it, it was faster, but it was paralyzed. Let's see, up real quick. I just want to, like, rest. I just put to sleep. Alright, let's surf. I feel like that shouldn't kill. That'd be pretty... And we're, like, I'm kind of, like, three levels up. Okay, I really did nothing. Uh, I don't want to kill it. It's like I can't do anything. I should have saved. That's what I should have done. I should have saved. I'm an idiot. I should have saved. Oh. I might go out to my... My, um... Chester. My shiny cinder race and quick attack it. Because I think it's like the best thing I can do. It's pretty tanky. He can take hits. 
Let's just attack him. Make sure not to kill him, though. Yeah, that's pretty good damage. Alright, yeah, we should be fine. Let's do one more. Ooh! This is kind of scaring me. Guys, that took forever. Like, it literally did take forever. Oh my god. I literally wasted about, like, 60 Pokeballs on that this one Legendary. I hope I never have to go to this thing again. Oh my god. I don't want to read the next entry. I'm done. Get out of here. I don't want to see this thing's face. That's how much torture I had to go through to catch that one Legendary Pokemon. It was like 20 minutes. That was the worst experience ever like, that I've had catching Legendary Pokemon. My goodness. Alright, well, I think that's it. I'm going to go back to the town. So it's so necessary because we caught two of them. We still have to look for the other one, but I haven't found the footsteps for that one yet, so I have to probably look for that off screen. And we'll catch that next time while we're here. And then we'll also explore uh, Calyrex over there. Alright, so I think that's it. Next episode, we, uh, we're going to be looking for the last Pokemon. I don't remember the name. Uh, because I don't remember the name of all of them. I know Bright, Verzion, Cobalion, Turbachion? Is that what it's called? Turbachion? I don't remember. Something like that. But we'll be looking for him, and then next episode we'll also see what's going on with, um, with, I forgot the, the, the reindeer's name already. Uh, Calyrex. We'll be looking at, look, we'll be checking out what it's doing, and, um, Seeing what's going on with that thing. But anyways, if you, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to please leave a like. If you're new and enjoy my content, please subscribe. And yeah, I'll be doing another one of these content videos soon. Probably not tomorrow, but I mean, it depends. Plus, because I mean, I really don't do these a lot on the weekdays, so it's kind of rare I'm doing these on the weekday. But um, yeah. Anyways, I hope. Yeah, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, guys.